In just under 12 hours, this teen now charged with his grandmother's murder will go before a judge for the first time. News for Jax getting new details on how Logan Mott's case may play out. From, from start to finish, the fact that he is so young will be a consideration throughout the entire trial. Plus, the I-Team is uncovering information about a DCF investigation of the 15-year-old and his father just a few years ago. Logan Mott should make his first court appearance in Buffalo, New York at 9.30 tomorrow morning. He's now charged with the murder of his 53-year-old grandmother, Christina French. Investigators found her remains last week buried outside Mott's Neptune Beach home. Police say Mott took off and tried to cross the border to Canada before his arrest. Channel 4's Jim Pickett is the only reporter in Buffalo for tomorrow's hearing. He begins our coverage of this big local story tonight. Jim. A lot changed as we were en route to Buffalo. What we had heard then is it was the state attorney's office and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that they filed that warrant for the murder arrest of Logan Mott. Now, what had happened is he was supposed to be through an extradition hearing tomorrow afternoon. That's all changed because we've been talking to the district attorney's office. At this point, he will be arraigned tomorrow on the murder charges at 930. Now, the office really can't say much at this point, but the district attorney will make himself available for an interview tomorrow after the arraignment. And we're going to learn a lot more at that time. Now, Logan Mott's mother, she's not up here at this point, but we have been talking to her by phone. And basically what she is telling us is that she's talking to her son while he is in jail, but she can't disclose much more. She's not sure if her father has been in contact with him at this point. And recall that he is the with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. He's a lieutenant and he's with the Corrections Division. Now, one thing that is going to happen, there is some evidence up here. That is the car that Logan drove to get up here, his grandmother's car. It will be processed, but eventually that will be returned to Jacksonville. As well as Logan Mott, there will be another extradition hearing, or there will be an extradition hearing. And at that point, they'll decide, you know, if they're going to fight that or if he will come on back to Florida. Tomorrow, the hearing begins at 930. We'll be talking to the district attorney after that. In Buffalo, Jim Pickett, Channel 4 the local station. Thank you, Jim. And with a murder charge, 15-year-old Logan Mott will now be tried as an adult. His age will likely still play a role during trial and sentencing if necessary. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is joining us live with some legal analysis on how it might change things. Ethan? And Kent, you know, anytime a teenager is charged with murder, it is big news. But we did want to know just how big of a role that young age would play in Logan Mott's trial. 15 year old Logan Mott will now be formally charged with his grandmother's murder. Border Patrol agents detaining him last week, more than a thousand miles away, trying to enter Canada. Local attorney Randy Reap says the prosecution will likely emphasize that, but another topic Reap says will undoubtedly come into play, the teen's age. This is one of those uh, newer cases where from, from start to finish, the fact that he is so young will be a consideration throughout the entire trial. In recent years, the U.S. and Florida Supreme Courts have ruled against life sentences for juveniles. Reap says scientific research contributed to those decisions. Young, particularly males, their brain development is actually problematic for their decision making, which is why the Florida Supreme Court has said we need to do sentencing different for people of such a young age. Now, with a 15 year old accused of killing his grandmother, Mott's legal team may use that young age in his defense. If he is convicted, it could prevent him from spending the rest of his life behind bars. And Reap points out, don't expect much of a difference if sentencing does happen. He says murder is still considered the most heinous crime in the legal system and would have major ramifications for anyone, including a 15-year-old. We are live tonight. I'm Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ethan, what about the differences from state to state? Surely there's a lot to consider since Mott was arrested in New York and still has to come here to Florida. That's right, Kent. Well, there is the issue of extradition, of course. And at this point, Mott can still waive his extradition. But Randy Reap was telling me that's really just a technicality. At this point, he will be brought back to Florida to face this murder charge. He will also be required to get a new legal team once he comes back here to his home state, Kent. Ethan Galloway reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Ethan.